Hey there guys, Mike here again. Thanks for clicking this video. Welcome to my shop. In this video, we're gonna be modifying my existing bike leg system. In a previous video, you can see here, I took a mini two inch light pod and I connected it to a 12 volt drill battery to make a pretty cool bike light system for a fraction of the cost what you'd actually find uh, retail. Been really happy with the performance, but I decided let's take it up another notch. So I went out and I purchased a second LED light pod. So I'll have a dual beam, so a high and low beam. Um, when I'm riding around the street, I can angle one down to I'm not blinding oncoming traffic. And when I'm in the trails, I can turn on the second one and aim it up a bit and I can get a better view of what I'm riding on. So in this video, we're going to mount the second light. We're going to wire it all up. And what I'll also do is we'll hook it up to an amp meter and we'll see what both lights actually draw and try to predict what type of battery life we'll get out of it. So let's recap what I previously made here. I took an automotive two inch mini pod light and it has nine LEDs. Uh, the claimed lumens here is 1500. Um, I believe it, it's pretty bright. I mounted it to a custom made handlebar mount. Now you could purchase something like this online. I also purchased a switch online here and mounts perfectly on the handlebar. I got it protected with a little fuse protection here and then a little adapter here. Now this adapter plugs into this Milwaukee a charge pack. Now this is pretty cool because you can use this to actually charge the battery as well. It comes with a little adapter so you can plug it into the wall and charge your battery. It also has USB so you can actually charge your phone or other USB devices and then it has a 12 volt out. So that just plugs into there like that. Put your battery in and there you go. So that is the breakdown of the system. So what I plan to do is make another crossbar system a little bigger and mount the other pod light here. And I went out and I purchased another switch so I can have high and low beam. So most of the fabrication work is done here. Let's get to the wiring. I laid this out to the switches to be near the handle grips. We'll make a nice little union right here for the power and the switches, and we will solder it all up and use heat shrink to make it nicely waterproof. We'll extend this down, and at the battery pack, we'll use this quick connector here. So this is a waterproof uh, connector, two prong, uh, 20 gauge, and it will handle it nicely so you can remove the battery pack without having to remove the whole light system. Uh, we're going to recycle uh, my old BLT uh, battery pack here and if you see there's lots of room in there and I actually removed the old lead acid battery so this is what was in it and you can see what I'm replacing it with and this is probably like three times heavier than this and to connect all this here I found this old 12 volt car adapter and we'll just snip this off and we can use it for the 12 volt to gain power to the whole system. And this is a mini fuse style and it uses these types of fuses. So that will be mounted in the battery pack so we can save anything if we have a direct short. So let's go ahead and get some wiring done. Before I put all the heat shrink on, I want to make sure everything works properly and we have the polarity correct. Plug this battery pack into the connector here. So what I have the battery coming in here, the incoming power, it goes to this switch here and to the first light and then the second switch here uh, goes after this switch. So the main power goes on, you see there, and then I can toggle the bright second beam on and off. Now, if I turn this off, it turns everything off at the same time. You could configure it a different way, but I feel that if you're in a panic, you just want to turn everything off on the one, so you just hit one switch, and then the high, low beam, similar to a car. 
So it seems to work perfectly. Let's go ahead and check the amperage and then we will button everything up. So I've got my multimeter hooked up here for some current testing. I got it set to amperage here, amperage DC. We're bisecting the incoming voltage to the light system. Let's go ahead and turn on the low beam. So the low beam draws 0.92, yeah, 0.9 of an amp at 12 volts. And then we'll turn on the high beams and it's drawing uh, just two amps there. So we got a two amp current draw on the full power setting. Turn it off, drops back down again. So here's the bike light system all wired up, ready to be mounted. I think it turned out pretty awesome. Can't wait to try it. It was cool that I was able to go full circle with my original BLT bike light system from the 90s. And incorporating this water bottle into the power block is pretty cool. And I'm sure people will ask me a lot of questions about that. I'm glad I didn't throw that away. So let's talk about runtime. Now these batteries that I'm using come in various sizes. So this is an aftermarket battery and this is a three amp hour battery. And I have another one here, which is a, a Milwaukee one that's two amp hour batteries. And we know through the testing that this one only draws just under an amp, so around an amp. And if you run two of them, of course, you're running two amps. But when you're doing hill climbing or on the road, you're just using one. And if you're doing some technical trails, of course, you would use the high beams. So if you incorporate turning on and off, and uh, when you're taking breaks, turn it off and sparingly with a two amp hour battery, you should easily get a two and a half hour ride out of this one battery. And of course, with a three amp hour battery, you could get probably uh, three plus hours out of, of ride. And that's a pretty long night ride. And of course, you could just carry spare one in your pack and then you could go as long as you want. So let's go ahead and mount this up and go for a night ride. So before I head and mount this light, I know some of you are gonna ask, well, how much does this actually weigh? So let's go just the way the lights itself. So it's like 480 grams there. And the battery pack is 361. So that's like, what, 840? 841 grams there. So for curiosity's sake, this is the original battery that came with my BLT light system. And the battery alone from this is 716 grams. So here I'm testing it out for the first time, just riding around my neighborhood. So that is the low beam. Let's try the high beam. Turn that off. Awesome. I love the way this light system turned out. It is awesome. It's the best one I've made so far. It is super bright with 3000 lumens. That's more than enough power I need for any type of trails I'm gonna ride. It's super robust. It has the cast uh, aluminum housing and the, the metal uh, brackets and of course the thick wire and the battery pack is a drill battery. It's meant for construction rough and tough uses. So I have no issues with that. You're gonna ask me, well, how much did it actually cost? Well, here's the cost breakdown of what it actually cost me. I had the drill battery so I didn't have to buy that but you know a battery management system that you can charge it with um, the two lights and of course if you had to buy the bracket system too well it's going to cost a bit so I think around $150 you could make this setup and it would rival things that are worth three four five hundred dollars worth no problem so I do plan to do another video of this actually in use in the trail so please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss that once again thanks for watching I hope you enjoy this video we'll see you in the next one